what holiday decorations have to be so expensive? You know what I'm saying? Like you're already out and about, you're buying presents, you want your place to look festive, you don't wanna make it seem like you're a Grinch or whatever, right? But you don't wanna break the bank either. So today I'm gonna to show you how I was inspired last time I was at the market, shopping with my eyes, taking it back home, and making my own decorations out of pallet wood. Let's check it out. All right, but before we get to this, let's check out SketchUp. The old version. All right, so here's my, uh, here's my idea right here. I got the tree, right? These are all gonna kinda be the same uh, height, the same height. So check it out, this is the tree, right? We're gonna go from uh, just the, the regular one and we're just gonna kinda give a little more, some more gusto. Then we're gonna go off with this little uh, funky dude right here. And I'm not gonna, like I do the star just for whatever. And these little shaded bits right here, this is like the parts that are gonna be uh, glued on. Whoa, 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 refocus everybody. Glued on later on. So there we go, right? So this little part of the, the hat, mustache, little stars, cool. And then with our snow dude, balls, 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 balls. And then he's gonna have a carrot nose with a little scarf. And then this part of the hat is gonna be the accentuating mark right there. So there you go. All right, so let's go ahead and bust these out real quick. And we'll, uh, like I said, we're gonna take it to the pallet wood. All right, so now we got our wood prepped. We got the designs ready, all ready to roll. So there's only one thing left, right? Kick on some tunes. All right, there we go. We got the details all situated. So I got the stars for the little dude with the mustache and part of the hat. And I got the nose and the scarf for the snowman right there. Now, the way that I got this is that the pallet wood, I split down the middle. And you can kind of see my bandsaw marks there, right? So the way that I did that was that I kind of did like a pincer move. Whoop. I took two pieces of wood that would clear underneath the, the little bearings sandwich the pallet wood and then I just zzz, rolled it right through the center that way I could split it in half lengthwise and I wouldn't put my fingers in jeopardy so another thing that I like to do especially when dealing with these little details is like the scarf and the tiny stars as you can clearly see right there right is that I'll take a pencil and I'll use the the eraser right here I'll hold down my piece of wood this is just the opposite end of the scarf right here and so what I'll do here is that I'll take this and I'll just use the grippy of the eraser whoop, and then I can zzz, 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 and get in there as much as I need. Now it's really not so much of a thing with the the little scarf but when dealing with these small stars oh you better believe it. 
So I can hold this guy like so, and then zzz, 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 spin it around. Zzz, zzz, zzz. So the next thing that I wanna do is I wanna try to carve out some detail with like maybe some eyes, uh, some the brim of the hat here, maybe some branches on the tree, and then the boots and of course the eyes and the star up above on the hat. And then once I get those situated, then I'll come back and then I'll hit him with a little spray paint. Probably gonna make this guy red, this one green, and this one I'll just do some white with the black hat. And uh, we'll figure out what to do with the scarf. Maybe I'll make it like, I don't know, we'll see. What I did here was that I made myself some pencil marks just to know like where exactly I wanted to go carving. So we can just right here. Like I said, some for the beard, some for the hat. And then uh, we'll go to town. Let's go shopping. Any green, orange, need white, red, black. All right, let's do this. Alrighty, so I've made some progress with moving along. And you know how sometimes you get real excited about crafting new and cool stuff that you uh, forget to film it. <clears throat> so yeah, that happened. Well, let's go ahead and start off with this little guy right here. So what I did here was that I made a bunch of bases just out of a piece of board. And then I wound up doing my move, whereas I blowtorch it. And then I scrub it down with some brass, a brass brush, brass bristle brush, try to say that. And then I found some sticks in the yard. This is a little cherry piece. And I just stapled it right there. Boop. And I cut the ends off the bottom, but I'm going to concealing those with the base and this other thicker piece of cherry right here. And so I think that looks pretty cool. It kind of looks like, you know, it's stacking up wood. And then I use my to push it into the bottom with some nails. I've also got some wood glue down the back right here, hitting the base with the tree. This piece right here, I cut off uh, with my uh, with my saw, just a little hand saw, just to kind of stack it better. And then pfft, I'm pushing it from the bottom right here. So let's go ahead and just keep on rolling with this guy. And what I'm planning on doing now is I just want to have another little bitty log, uh, log like this right here. And so I'm going to stick this down on the bottom and then I'm going to call this piece good. And I'm just going to go ahead and kind of wait on the other pieces for drying. Specifically, my snowman. I got the carrot. You can kind of tell right there. His carrot nose is secured. And I've also got the scarf. But like I said, I'm just going to wait for the glue to dry on this. And then, unfortunately, I had a casualty with the other side of the hat. So his hat's a little bit skewed. But you know what? Hey, maybe that's just how it is. You know what I'm saying? So like I said before, I'm just trying to conceal where the tree meets the base. And really all the figures meet the base. By securing some little firewood pieces and just some other knickknacks that, you know, kind of goes hand in hand with the holiday season. So here all I did was just kind of secure the logs into themselves and I'm just using a three quarter inch brad. For the snowman, what I want to do here is get them on the base, but got a little bit uh, too round. So we're just gonna lob it off real quick. And whoop, that way I got a flat surface for a flat surface so they can mate. Click, 
click, click, and booyah. We're gonna get that guy secure on the base. No problem, right? He won't cheat her, it's all good. So now I'm just uh, getting some of the finer twigs and this is just gonna kind of be like kindling. And I'm gonna try to bundle it up, but the way that I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna first secure it with a few rubber bands. And then I'm gonna come in with some twine to make it be more like a quote unquote bundle. And I'm just gonna do a simple slip knot. And so these little knots are kind of good because it's sort of like a, a noose in a sense. And I can move the string back and forth, make a big loop so that I can secure my twigs that way. And then that way, whenever I have everything where I need it to be, I can tighten it up like that. So let's go ahead and loop it on, clunk, after a little finagling. But then, whoop, there we go. See, I just pull that one and it kind of secures it into place. That way I can remove the rubber band. See you later, thank you. And I'll put it onto the base of the snowman, as such. After tying a little bow, of course, and lobbing off the excess. So I put a little piece of wood glue down because I figured why not, right? Wood glue on the, on the base of the kindling and also uh, that would be well and good, but they really dangle and they try to get out of the, out of the, the, the twine there. So I just put a little dab of super glue here and there just to hold the bundle in place. There we go, looking good so far. Now we're gonna move on to the Santa. And I got a little piece of wood glue in the center of my stars for the buttons. And I'm just gonna add a little dab of CA glue to the edges just to kind of help keep it moving forward. And while that glue dries, I decided to take these little buds from the cherry as well. And I'm gonna secure those. I don't have any tiny pine cones and I really didn't feel like go out looking for some or getting them. And that way, uh, eh, it just kind of, you know, serves the same purpose. And I can also get that crease down in the corner there. So I think that's kind of cool. And I just put some super glue. That's the fastest way for it to secure. And so far that's looking mighty nice. I like it. This guy needs a little more face. Not face time, but like a literal face. So a little dab for some eyes, boom, boom. And good to go. Cute snowman with a cool scarf. So now that things are rolling with our glue drying and such, I'm gonna go ahead and put some little accent beads on this guy's base right here of his, uh, I don't know what you call that, his giant robe, I don't know. His Santa robe. Give him a little eyeball or two. And then we're gonna go in with some glitter paint. So I figured some gold glitter paint would be uh, really conducive to what I'm trying to pull off here. And so we'll just give him some some uh, little accents on the stars here for his buttons. And I was just gonna do the fronts and then I realized, you know what, that kind of looks a little goofy. So I'm glad that I used the, the finer brush. That way I can get it on the edges as well. That way it just kind of completes the look, you know, depending on where you're looking at it. It would just really bug me if I was looking at it at an angle and I saw that it was just bare wood. And uh, whoop. let's go with the uh, fast forward method and we're just gonna secure all the paint in the crevices once again. Get it in there, make sure we cover it all, and a little bit on the back. I'm going back for the mustache because the spray paint was a little bit lacking, so I put a little bit more on the mustache there. And then uh, for this, instead of using spray paint, I want to try to get into the crevices a little bit more, so I'm using uh, some leftover chalk paint that I have. That's kind of a creamy white color, and it looks pretty good for a beard. And a little bit of gray hair coming underneath the brim of the hat. Boop. Little cherry nose, and we'll give him some cherry cheeks. And we'll start finalizing these guys as a trio right now. Try to blend it in a little bit. Then we'll call it good. Otherwise, you can get buried in the details, you know what I mean? All right, we let the paint dry. Our little dudes are looking good. The tree's looking nice. Festive, right? That's what the holidays are all about. And you did it yourself, right? Bust us out out of pallet wood. Make some for yourself. Make some for your friends. Give them as gifts. That's what the holiday spirit's all about, right? So we're going to call it this one. Hope you have a good holiday season, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.